Please use your personal protective equipment as directed by your tutor or as indicated by your worksheet. Here is the equipment provided for a titration to be performed. It includes a 250ml conical flask and a pipette filler. A pipette and a burette. In the laboratory there will be a supply of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Collect some of these in individual beakers for single experiment use. Please label the beakers before decanting the various solutions. By labelling the beakers in advance before decanting the liquids will avoid any chance of contamination. Please refer to the hazard cards for any specific safety information on the solutions that you are using. Conditioning equipment. This procedure is used to avoid contamination during the titration as the equipment may have been used for other substances before. The equipment needs to be washed through with distilled water at least twice. Using a pipette filler, use the wheel, do not pull the plunger. To release liquid from the pipette, please use the release valve on the pipette filler as shown. As part of your conditioning of your equipment, you need to run some hydrochloric acid through the pipette. This is part of the washing and conditioning process, not part of your titration. Half fill the pipette with some hydrochloric acid, block off the end, and tilt the pipette so that the acid washes the entire of the pipette inside. Then discard the acid. Operating a burette tap. When the handle is across the burette or at right angles to the burette, it is closed. This enables you to fill up the burette with any substances that you require. In this case, as part of the conditioning of the equipment, distilled water is being used. Again, you need to perform this task twice to rinse out your equipment properly to avoid contamination during the titration. To release the substances within the burette, turn the burette tap so it's within line to the burette. After rinsing through the burette twice, fill up the burette with sodium hydroxide using the funnel provided in your kit. Notice that the burette is on a lower level to make it easier to fill. Then return the burette to the bench top and run through some of the sodium hydroxide into the tap. This will avoid any air bubbles being trapped in the tap causing your titration to be inaccurate. Then note down the start position of the meniscus within your burette. Conditioning the conical flask does not require the use of any of the reagents within the titration. A simple rinse through will be sufficient. There is no need to dry the conical flask at this stage. The initial stage of 
performing the titration is to draw up an accurate quantity of hydrochloric acid using the pipette filler and the pipette. There is a mark on the pipette that accurately indicates 25 millilitres. Fill up your bulb pipette slowly and carefully using the pipette filler to this mark. When you are happy you have an exact amount of hydrochloric acid, release the hydrochloric acid using the release valve on the pipette filler into your conical flask. When transferring the hydrochloric acid into the conical flask using the pipette, please ensure that at the end of the transfer the pipette tip is touched against the side or the bottom of the conical flask to release all the acid. When performing the titration use a white card or white tile on the base of the burette stand. This enables any colour changes to be easily visible. Add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator to the hydrochloric acid in the conical flask. Then start to release the sodium hydroxide from the burette into the acid in the conical flask. This is done small amounts at a time. After each amount added, swirl the flask to mix the contents. Nearing the end point of the titration, you may notice that the indicator starts to show some colour change. This will disappear as you swirl the flask. This indicates that the end point of the titration is being reached. Add increasingly smaller amounts of the sodium hydroxide. This can be added dropwise as the end point approaches. To obtain the most accurate result from your titration, it's always best to use the dropwise adding method. This ensures an accurate end point of the titration. The end point of the titration is reached when the colour change of the phenolphthalein indicator is permanent after swirling the contents of the flask. You will see this colour change easily against the white card or white tile on your burette stand base. When the titration has been completed, note the end point. This is the volume of sodium hydroxide left within the burette. Any titration should be performed three times to produce three concurrent results. After performing a titration or any lab task, your equipment should be thoroughly cleaned before putting away. This is good lab practice and will count towards your assessment. The examples on screen can be followed easily to ensure that your titration equipment is clean before returning to the trolley or the lab bench. When cleaning the burette, it must be rinsed down with distilled water this can be done straight into a sink with the burette tap open. If the burette tap is closed, release the tap and ensure all the contents has been drained out.
when storing a burette on a burette stand or a burette rack, ensure that it is stored upside down with the tap open.